Hi, this is John with Sysenj Quick, and today I'm going to show you how to set up rate limiting using IP tables. This can be very useful for blocking brute force login attempts to your SSH server. To do this, we're going to use the Recent module. The Recent module allows you to set up and track a list of IPs over a time period. Then you can check that list, and if you've seen that particular IP too many times, you can take action. The first thing we need to do is set up a list. So why don't we set up a list to block SSH traffic when you've seen a new connection more than five times in a 60 second window. So to do that, we'll make the list. We're going to use I instead of A. We're going to insert this rule because if it comes after our accept rule, our traffic will be accepted and we won't get to the part where it's going to block the traffic. So once we're up before the fourth rule, it's SSH traffic, so that's TCP port 22. We need to use the connection tracking module because we only want new connections. We're going to use the recent module. We're going to name our list SSH list, and we're going to use the set command, and that basically creates or updates our list. Now we can add our comment track new SSH attempts and now all we have to do is set up the rule that drops traffic if we exceed those limits. So IP tables insert this time it's 5 because remember we inserted 144 so now this rule is now 5 instead of 4. Again it's TCP port 22. We're still looking for new connections. The recent module Name is still SSH list, but this time instead of set, we're going to do update. Update says if you see the same IP, update the last time you saw it. That will keep our window fluid and make sure that if an attack keeps going past our, uh, our time window, it will keep being blocked. So this effectively resets the time window back to zero. So if you make five connections in a 60 second window and you get blocked, then you wait 30 seconds and you connect again, well your time just got reset. You have to wait another 60 seconds before you connect any one time. Alright, now we will add our time period, that's seconds, 60, and hit count is 6 because we want to block the 6th attempt. If we did 5, it would only allow 4 connections. And we'll go to the drop target, and now we'll add a comment comment is drop excessive SSH attempts. Alright, so there are our new rules. So let's see what happens. I should be able to make five more SSH attempts. One, that worked. Two, yes. Three, no problem. Four, okay. Five, yep. Six, Ah, we've been blocked. Well, that's too bad. We're just going to have to wait another 60 seconds, and then we will be able to get back in. All right, we've waited our 60 seconds. We should be able to get back in now. And yes, I can get back in. So there you go. That's how you set up SSH brute force logging and attempt blocking, or any kind of rate limiting using IP tables. Thanks for watching. See you next time.